Yo, it's your boy Picante Nino coming at you with another video. Today, I'm going to be talking about basically all the PvP changes that happened from the DR changes, evasion stuff, to all the animations and all the hit reductions. So basically the overall state of PvP right now. And honestly, it took me about a good three-ish weeks to fully understand this. I didn't want to release a video on the first week because honestly, I really didn't know what I was experiencing. So we did play a lot of PvP, a lot of PvP. Like I, I would say at least above like 20 hours of PvP just from these three weeks. And let me give you guys my honest opinion. It's honestly, I'm just going to talk and we're just going to go over this stuff so you guys can have a better understanding of what these changes entail and what I believe is going to happen in the future. So yeah, let's just jump into it. Okay, so let's just start off with the general basics. Those of you guys who do not know what happened in BDO recently, these are the changes that happened. They reduced the amount of hits that certain skills do by a lot. They said they reduced hits by like above 50%. So sometimes some skills will hit about 16 times. They lowered it down to about 8 to 4 times. So now our skills are hitting a lot less, which actually affects our cancels a lot. So a lot of animations and damage have been basically displaced throughout our skills which honestly now that this change has gone through some of the cancels feel very awkward especially the ones on zerker for your highest damage combo but let me just go through all the changes so they changed the amount of hits on certain skills which makes the animations very awkward to cancel into they changed how dr and evasion work so now evasion is like it, I'm not going to get into the two specifics, but it works very similar to how DR is. So, that means is that just build damage. Basically, like TLDR build damage, but I'll get into the specifics later. So, yeah, they changed how DR and evasion worked, which is kind of crazy. They took off the class damage modifiers. So, what that means is that whenever a class hits another class, like let's say that my Zerker hits a, uh, let's say like a Tamer, right? My, my Zerker does like 0.8 times damage modifier to the Tamer. So that means I lose on 20% damage, right? But meanwhile, that Tamer hits a Zerker, they get a 1.5 times damage modifier. Or let's say if a Tamer hits a Warrior, they have a 1.7 times damage modifier. So they basically done away with all of that BS. So they can actually have the baseline of all the characters there, which makes it a lot easier to balance. The thing is, is that I feel like them taking that away... They also needed to raise the numbers up or tone down some of the numbers from other classes. And hence, is that there's several classes in the game that just do so much damage that it doesn't even make sense. And what I mean by it doesn't even make sense, if you look at... Let me get out my notes right here. These are the classes that I specifically wrote down because when I'm wearing my tanky build, these classes just one and two skill me. I could be tanking like seven to eight people in RBF. As soon as one of these classes get introduced into the picture, I die immediately. Because these classes are just so ridiculous, and I think it's because they took away the class damage modifiers. So the classes are Sage, Megu, Wusa, and Drac. Those classes just completely... They annihilate health bars. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, it, it, it's so crazy how I could tank like 7 to 8 people in RBF and come out barely alive. But as soon as a Sage hits me like once or twice, my health bar just goes to zero. It, it, it's it's wild. They, they got to tone down or look at these and start balancing this like almost ASAP. Because these classes are just... It feels goofy. How everything feels the same. And then these classes like, boom, you're dead. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. To get to my next point is that... What's that called? It feels like with all these changes to like DR and Evasion... And all this stuff, it feels like they only tested these changes to cap Node Wars or cap the gear, if that makes sense. So the, the game feels very, very good in like AOS or cap Node Wars, right? But once you get into uncapped, stuff starts feeling a little bit goofy. It still it feels a little bit goofy. Like when I'm running a DR build and someone else is running a DR build, we could we can't even do like 2% or 10% of each other's health. So we're just there fighting forever, and we just bounce off each other. And that's, that's a little bit weird. It feels a little bit weird because in BDO, it's like, oh, you can just keep on comboing them, and eventually their health bar will disappear, right? If you keep on catching them. 
But now it doesn't even matter. If you're running a DR hybrid build and they're running a, a hybrid build as well, you guys are just going to bounce off each other and then that's it. Like, you guys cannot kill each other. So now you have these situations where, hey, I can't kill you, you can't kill me, let's just uh, go our different ways. It feels so weird, but that's what happens in, R in RBF all the time. It happens in RBF all the time. So now it feels like, what's that called? They only balanced these changes to capped gear so it, it feels like that and the aos feels really good right now aos succession zerker is just ridiculous right now aos succession zerker you could be hybrid tanky and you would just eat a bunch of damage and deal a bunch of damage and if you're playing succession zerker right now in aos you are eating good like there's a reason why armin is playing succession zerker and uh, aos right now and being number two currently as we're speaking so yeah man uh, now, if you guys want to know the specifics on how you should build your characters for these changes, human damage. You need human damage. Human damage is crazy. You need to be stacking human damage. You need about a good... You need, a, you need to get very close or above 800 human damage. So let me switch over to the, to the other screen right now, you guys. So I can show you what it means by human damage. Human damage... You go over here, you hit P, you're going to add your AP, your highest AP, whichever one. If you're Awakening, add your Awakening. If you're Succession, add your regular AP. And then what you're going to do is that you get these stats. So you get this AP and then you get your AP to humans and then that's what you're at right now. So for me, I am 597 plus 28 and then that is my total human damage. So I'm, I'm barely reaching above 600 human damage. It's wild. So... The reason why is that you want above, I would say close to or above 800 human damage for a good AP build so you could shred through these DR builds. And then vice versa, if you're running a DR build, you at least want above 700 damage reduction. So once you're above 700 damage reduction, people need to go full AP to kill you, okay? They need to go full AP to kill you. So... That means you have to stack a crap ton of human damage to get through these DR builds. Because right now, DR is pretty good right now. And you know what also works against evasion? AP. So right now, just stack a bunch of AP. Just keep on stacking a bunch of AP and human damage. Also, I haven't tested this yet, but if you guys aren't working on your Celethaxes, those of you guys who are Awakening, this has a crap ton of uh, human damage attached to it. So plus 31 human damage at what try on green. Which is pretty good, so if I put this on, like, my human damage goes up and my Awakening AP stays the same. So, hey man, take that into consideration. I haven't tested it out yet, but that's what it, that's what it's all about, man. It's human damage, you need human damage, you need human damage. As you guys know, I am a DR Hybrid Zerker, so let me show you guys my build right here. Uh, this is what I run most of the time whenever I do PvP. 1v1, group fights, it doesn't matter. I'm running this build. Of course, these are going to get changed out once I get more Debrekas, but right now I'm just waiting on the new Debrekas to get revealed so I can actually start working on Debrekas. Because right now, the the, the least the least thing I want to do in BDO right now is go for Debrekas, dude. The grinding for Debrekas is miserable. I'm just going to wait for the content to come out for these Debrekas to be fully revealed. And what I mean fully revealed is that there's a rumor saying that they're going to release a hybrid Debreka. And for me, I'm a hybrid kind of guy. There's going to be hybrid stuff. So this is my build. You gotta run that pen cadger ring. That pen cadger ring is what's carrying it. And also these artifacts. These artifacts right here are carrying it too. So if you're running damage reduction, pick melee damage reduction or range damage reduction. Whichever one you're doing, I recommend 1v1s, pick melee. If you're doing any type of like RBFs or siege, you're gonna pick ranged, okay? So you just don't get ranged down from, you know, the hardest hitting classes like sage and so on and so forth. So, you run this and then also the crystals as well. Take a screenshot of this. This is the crystal build that I personally run for DR. And it puts me around 703 DR. So that means people could barely punch through it. And they could actually punch through it if they run above 800 human damage. So now, let's get into the, to the specifics. So, we're going into the specifics now. We are in a meta that is weird. Okay? And what I mean by weird is that damage reduction is good and you will live. But if a person with an AP build comes around, you will die in one combo. 
Okay, so that means like they're running zero defense and they're just stacking a crap ton of AP, right? A crap ton of AP and human damage. They are gonna blast through your your DR build like if it's water. Okay, vice versa. If you are running a hybrid build and you start comboing a person with no defense and just a crap ton of AP and human damage, like completely glass cannon, right? You wouldn't be able to full combo them. You would not. You would not. There are some classes in the game that you would not full combo them. And, of course, you would be able to full combo some people if you had a bunch of AP, like my gear. But, like, there are some people that will be running a full glass cannon build. And then you would barely do, like, you know, a good 50 to 70% of their health almost killing them. But they will get up. And they will one combo you. So now you're just like, why? What the hell is that? Like, why, why are you running DR build? And that's what I'm saying. I recommend people just to run a bunch of human damage and a bunch of uh, a bunch of human damage and AP. So the main reason why is that the DR, the base DR that we get for being level 61 is like, what, plus 50, plus 80? I'm not quite too sure, but we get a lot of DR for free. So everyone has this amount of DR for free, okay? So now that we can't blast through their DR because my AP right now, my human damage AP... Is what running DR is about 620, 630 maximum, right? So now I don't even know what to do. It's just like I don't have enough damage to blast through the base stats of the game because they gave everyone 50 extra DR. But what I mean that by that is like I think the developers are pulling a, a big brain move because in the future we're gonna be able to upgrade these weapons to be you know even crazier and more damage, right? What is it, the Celestia weapons or whatever it's called? The synthesizer weapons? I don't know. The next tier of weapons above, right? So if we get a next tier weapon above, obviously our damage is going to go up. Which means that we can kill these glass cannon... Like, these glass cannon builds while still being hybrid. And then they can still kill us regardless because they already proven to us that they have enough damage to blast through our 700 DR build. So that means if the game, it might get a little bit more balanced... When it comes to these weapons getting upgraded in the future, whenever they do add them, so just keep that in mind, you guys. The this this right here is just a placeholder. I feel like they're they're thinking ahead. So right now they're thinking, hey man, balance for cap gear, and then uncap is just whatever. It's gonna get balanced in the future whenever these weapons come out, because they also did say that they're gonna have substats on those weapons for um for what is it? for hp and dr so it's gonna be a little bit weird but yes that's what i'm banking on in the future so those of you guys who are like man i don't know what my build should be right now just build a bunch of ap and just smack people if you want to go my route and run the the hybrid route um yeah you're just gonna have to just deal with it man the hybrid route just deal with it you're gonna you're gonna be very you're gonna be living pretty pretty well but honestly, if you don't play like a Zerker or something, I would just say, hey man, just go the AP route. Now, let's move on to my thoughts on basically Zerker in general. So that we're done with the overall general overview of all the changes, right? The VR, the evasion, and all that stuff. Now let's get into the Zerker specifics. I did a lot of PvP these past couple of days. And honestly, like the PvP is... It's getting better. I feel like every week they keep on changing something about the animations that it keeps on getting a little bit better. Because the first week, the first couple of days of the the animation changes and of the hit reduction, it's just... I, I didn't want to play BD. It, it, it was frustrating. Like, on a scale of 1 to 10 how unplayable Zerker was, I would give it like about a 2 out of 10. So like, 2 out of 10, 10 being very playable, 2 being just... Ugh, ugly. It, it wasn't even worth playing the class. Because usually we do our Frenzy Short Stomp, and then it's like, what is it? Headbutt into Ground Lift? That whole thing, Frenzy Short Stomp into a Headbutt, it didn't work. It sometimes came out, and then when it came out, it was very delayed. And so by the time it came out, they were already up and, and fighting you already. So that, that happens with most of our animations, to the point where it's just like, if it comes out awkwardly, they just get up. And our ground lift wasn't even CCing people, and it was just, it was, it was a mess. It was a mess. And I feel like these guys are shadow buffing our animations without actually putting it in the patch notes. Because honestly, like, the class feels a lot better now. After week two, it feels a lot better now. So now our animations are a little bit cleaner, but they're still kind of broken. 
Okay, we all know that if you play Zerker and you're an old Zerker person, you, we all know that it feels a little bit awkward to play Zerker right now. But you know what? They're they're gonna be fixing it. They're they're been releasing waves of fixing animations for other classes, so now we don't have to worry about it too too much. So let's move on to the the bigger thing, right? Well, is Zerker better tanky or is it better AP? My personal opinion, it's better AP. Um, Zerkers, if you want to kill anything now, just build AP because DR classes. If you're not, if you are not full sending on AP, you're not gonna kill anyone. You're really not gonna kill anyone. And if you're playing hybrid, like you gotta, you gotta understand that you just cannot kill people. You know, if you're playing hybrid, you gotta understand that you're there to be a nuisance and you're there just to play out your whole life and just be there in the back line and just having a threat constantly there. So you're not going to be killing anyone, but you're going to be threatening everyone. And then you're just going to have those opportunities where you could just like, I wouldn't say kill steal, but you could like see a person in the back that's not paying attention and you get that good fat back attack multiplier and you will be able to kill some people like that, right? So I recommend people just building human damage and AP, but Zerker does feel tankier just overall tankier from what it was before. So even if you are playing full AP, you still have a decent amount of survivability. You have a good amount of survivability now. Like, they changed Zerker's numbers, I believe. And you actually have a good amount of survivability compared to how it was before. Back then, you felt like a glass cannon, and you died like a glass cannon. Now you can take a couple of hits as a glass cannon Zerker and still walk away pretty decently, you know? So it feels good that we have a little bit extra love in terms of, yes, man, we play a big boy class. You know, we be, we play those big boy classes, you have big boy health, which means you have big boy survivability. It really isn't the case, but now it kind of feels like we do have some survivability now. Now, if you're playing a hybrid Zerker, bro, you are a menace. You are not going to die. Like, literally, uh, there's a clip of me where I'm over here just, like, in the middle of five people. I get down smashed, like three or four times I get CC reset and I just get up and just giant leap away with like 20% of my health and I just like walk away and heal back up so now like there there's a couple of things now aside from damage reduction and all that stuff with Zerker but let me tell you a little bit more about the animations for Zerker so right now it feels like our 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 blasting you know our, our movement where we like Basically spam a uh, shake off with blasting and then we just slide in a different direction really really quick that movement our blasting movement It feels like it's a lot faster now because since they reduced the amount of hits that blasting has we could actually Cancel out of it quicker. So now it feels like I'd say a, like a third more faster Which is amazing when it comes to our movement. So overall like I have a good feeling that these patches are there and it just feels a little bit awkward at first, but they're going to slowly make this thing right. I feel like the numbers are going to be very, very reasonable once the new weapons come out. And it'll be balanced from there when it comes to, like, uncapped. But right now, for a cap, it feels very well. There are some classes that are still broken, like DK, Moose, or whatever. Succession, Zerker are just, like, crazy in, in uh, cap places, right? So... It just feels weird that they decided just to only test things out. Because honestly, in my opinion, it feels like they they throw in all these changes and then they're like, yeah, we're just only going to test them out in capped. Like, come on, don't do that. Like, test it out everywhere. Because me right now, I'm running 700 plus DR. I feel amazing. I could tank all day. But once the Sage, Megu, or Wusa, or Drac come into the picture, I gotta run, dude. I Literally, I gotta run. And honestly, I don't feel like I'm killing people a lot with my hybrid build and yeah man like it, it just it feels good it feels balanced it feels a little bit weird knowing that you could just run into someone that's also wearing a hybrid build and you have a hybrid build and you guys cannot kill each other it feels weird that you're just gonna have to let them alone i was in rbf one day and there's this one hybrid build of valkyrie that was trying to kill me and he comboed me burly did like less than two two percent of my health i comboed them burly did less than two percent of their health and I just, I was like, all right, dude, let me just walk away. And they kept on chasing me, just like, and, I, and I'm, I'm over here just like, all right, let me take out my phone. Let me, let me start sending some text, you know, and they're just wailing on me, wailing on me, wailing on me. My health does not dip below 2% of my maximum. And uh, yeah, man, like you just got to know that just walking away from people you can't kill. Meanwhile, if you have an AP build, a human damage build, you can kill anyone you want. You can kill anyone with full evasion. 
you kill anyone with full DR, it really doesn't matter. Just stack that human damage and AP. You know, try out that new Celeth Axe with a uh, Celeth Bane Hand if you're running Awakening. Tell me how that goes, because I'm, I'm I'm trying to get that up too. But yeah, man, those are my overall thoughts. Uh, PvP is a little bit goofy right now, but they're going to be fixing it. Overall, I feel like these changes are needed in terms of what the defense and all that stuff is, because now, like, we, we kind of needed a shake-up in this, and honestly, they should just do changes like this, like, every six to three months, you know, three to six months, so we can have, like, a new meta. Because right now, like, they really gotta, they really gotta balance these classes, man. They, they gotta do balance patches like this to keep the game fresh. It, it's just so frustrating whenever I go into AOS and I see Mangu, Wusa, DK, Sage, Drac, like, it's, it's always those classes. It's always those classes. And it's been like that for almost two years, you know? Especially for Drac. Like, Drac's been broken for the longest time. Drac just does way too much damage. And I thought they were going to address all the damage modifiers with these these patches, but no, like, they haven't, dude. So, that's my viewpoint of BDO. I feel like it's... We're, we're, in, the, we're in, the, in the phase where everything's awkward right now. And right now... The first two weeks from these no from these patches coming out, Berserker was unplayable. You couldn't combo people. You couldn't cancel your movement correctly. Now you can movement correctly, and you can kind of combo people depending if uh, the game allows you to basically uh, ignore resistance. Let me explain to you guys. I know this is like not part of the video, but they need to get rid of resistances. Okay. And I know that there's resistance crystals in the game that are tied to basically your damage crystals and your DR crystals. And it's a pretty big part of the game because it also has to deal with PvE as well. They should just remove resistances when you're in a combo. So you could get, you could resist a CC if it's your first CC. So like, let's say I'm moving around doing my Zerker thing. I'm running around, you know, and someone throws a knockdown and my character resisted, right? But if someone gets a knockdown or a grab, and then I'm on the floor, I should not be able to get res like to resist at all, you know? Because it kind of, there's a there's a feel bad moment when someone fucking combos you on the floor, and then you get up in the middle of their combo and they're committed to an unsafe combo, and you just get up, grab them, slam them on the floor, boom, boom, boom. Oh, okay, you lost because you you did the right thing, which is full sending on a combo that you got. It feels really dirty. It doesn't feel great winning like that. And honestly, when it happens, what are you going to do? You're not going to take it? Like, if you don't take it, that means, like, you're showing your opponent that you're not really trying, right? So it's just, like, I I agree with the resistances being in the game, but only for the first CC, like, for the catch. And that's about it. Once you're caught, once you're CC'd, once you're stunned or stiffened or knocked down, you should not be able to resist CCs, at least for a good five seconds while they're comboing. There should be, like, a, a CC turn off once you get hit by a CC. Literally, that should be it. You know, five seconds, why not? You know, it, it should be something like that. But if they do those changes and they fix... If they do the CC resist changes and they do the the animation fixing, I feel like those two... Well, the animation fixing is number one. They need to fix all the animations for all the classes. Because right now, I think, like, Megu or Wusa are one of the ones that, like, they literally don't have that much movement because they can't cancel into stuff correctly. So... It feels bad for all the classes around, and I really hope they address that first. So with that, you guys, like, I really hope that you know that my thoughts were very concise and clear. I don't make videos like this all the time, because I, I don't like to just talk unedited. So hopefully this gives you guys a better insight of what the PvP is right now. It's not too good, it's not too great, and it's a little bit awkward. But I feel like once they release the new... What is it? The new Falling God weapons? I guess the Synthesizer, Celestial, or whatever. The S the S weapons. Um, we're going to get some more balance changes. And hopefully they nerf you know, the damage of Drac, Megu, Sex Session, blah, 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 Sage. It, it get me because those classes, I could be running full tank and I just get one-shotted by them. But with that, you guys, I appreciate you guys listening to the video. Hopefully it wasn't too long-winded, but I just wanted to get everything out there. Those of you guys who are wanting to check out my content, man, I stream Mondays through Thursdays, and all we do right now, we've been just BBPing. You know, we fought Dosa. Quick thoughts on Do Dosa. Dosa needs some buffs, bro. The, the movement on Dosa is kind of kind of cheeks right now. 
Every every Dosa that I fought, bro, it's very it's very simple to know where they're gonna land off of their iframe, so you can just wait there and just grab them. But with that, you guys have a good rest of your night, and I appreciate you guys watching.